G'day there guys, how are we? Today I am on a bit of a road trip. It is a lovely spring day here at the moment. Sun is out, it is, uh, well, it's rather cool, it's only about 10 degrees, but it is a lovely day. I'm on my way to a repeater site. I've done a video uh, on this repeater site before. I'll put a link up in the cards if you want to check it out. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know, it's, for those of you who are uh, repeater builders would understand this, who have uh, ever worked on them before, let me know in the comments actually if you've ever done repeaters before. Um, a repeater officer's work is never done. It's always, there's always something to do. So um, I've been neglecting this this particular job for a little while, so I've decided to to take advantage of the lovely weather and go down and do it. So um, I'll put a overlay of my APRS track here because I do run APRS in the vehicle, and it'll show you where I've travelled and how far the repeater is away from from uh, where I am. So a little bit of a drive, yep. So it's probably about an hour, I think, to the, maybe to the top uh, one way. So, but uh, enjoying the drive at the moment. Uh, so the problem with the repeater is, yeah, I have an All Star repeater, which, uh, well, All Star asterisk. All Star has the ability to have voting receivers and also simulcast transmitters. So the repeater has two transmitters on the same frequency at different repeater sites. I'm going to one of them. Um, and there's three receivers that uh, vote. And uh, they uh, they ensure that we get good coverage of uh, the area here because it's quite, quite hilly terrain. Um, it's on UHF. And the problem that I've got is that the it's because it's IP based. There's an issue with um, it was it was uh, originally designed by or the, the the voting board. There's a piece of hardware that interfaces with All Star, and uh, that was developed by Jim Dixon. I can't remember his call sign WA something. Who's uh, unfortunately uh, a silent key, but Jim developed these boards and. Um, I built a couple of them up and programmed and they had a they had a bit of an issue with the Ethernet. You had to run them at 10 megabits uh, half duplex, otherwise you get uh, Ethernet errors. So anyway, I'm uh, going to put in a switch. I've got a, got a little Ethernet switch to go in which will force the port to 10 megabits because the repeater keeps going off the air and it's because of Ethernet packet clashes. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to replace a, a potentially faulty GPS as well because uh, being simulcast, they need to be GPS locked. I'm replacing that. So yeah, um, hopefully I've got all my tools. As a repeater, repeater builders and officers know, you get halfway to the repeater site and you've forgotten one critical tool, but this is a re relatively straightforward uh, mission so anyway I'll uh, update you when I get closer to the top the rough part of the track oh it's not too bad it's just uh it's just bumping the old Subaru Forester does well getting up here though <laughs> all-wheel drive hopefully we don't come across any fallen trees because I haven't been up here for a while and I don't have a chainsaw or hopefully we don't come across any snakes because they'll starting they'll be starting to come out I usually see I've been up here a couple of times around this time and you'll see a couple they'll be sun baking on the on the road so we may see a couple possibly I think that's a 
wedge tail eagle flying around. We get them up here, they're pretty cool. They're quite a sight when they get close to you. There's a snake. There he's, there he's just in there. Just kidding, ha <laughs> ha. Let's find the right keys for the gate. Not far to go now, up the track. Listen to the birds. All right, got up here. There's our tower. I'll show you our antennas around the corner. Beautiful day. Absolutely beautiful day up here. So we have our, uh, I can't quite see from that angle. That's our, our two meter and 70 centimeter vertical that runs the repeater. And then there's a folded dipole there too that you can just see um, there. That runs the two meter APRS that is here. And uh, there's another tower up here too, which has other various emergency services. What a lovely day, not a breath of wind. All right, so a brief overview, and I've done this in, pre in a previous video, but I'll go through it again, just for those that haven't seen it. Starting at the bottom of the rack, we've got the uh, t we've got a two meter bandpass filter. That's for the APRS to notch out some of the interference from uh, nearby transmitters. We've got the duplexer here for 70 centimeters for that for that repeater. This is the voter panel, which is a little bit dusty, but this has got the voter board in it. I might uh, show a picture of the of what this looks like and what's inside. Uh, the repeater, so this is a 40 watt repeater. It will do 50 watts, but it's wound back to 40. And then I've got the APRS here. This is a TNC X with a uh, X Digi, I think it is, that's in there. Um, and this is the GPS that I'm going to replace. So I'm not sure that the GPS is the problem, but I'm gonna replace it anyway. Um, and up here, and the power supply's up here, but this is the ethernet switch that I'm going to replace as well with um, with the managed one, which hopefully will mean that it'll fix the issues. Yeah, got a nice little friend over the back there too. Hello, how are you? Sounds of the bush. Alrighty, job done. It took me a little bit longer than normal, but uh, anyway, got it sorted. New GPS is in, new switch is in. Got my other all-star node sitting there, which is in. Good to go. Alrighty, on the way home now, I've been successful in my mission. I think, I think I've fixed the problem. I'm not entirely sure. I had a couple of issues with uh, configuration on the uh, uh, Ethernet switch, so might have fixed it, we'll see what happens. Just, uh, I think, good timing. It's just started to spit with rain now too, so um, that's good. But, uh, click on these videos to, I think uh, I'm gonna put one here about the limited radio uh, repeated repair last time, and also one down here about the design of the our, uh, what we call the VK Link system here that we use. 73 for now, thank you very much for watching.